Ian, a bit of an odd afternoon that actually. Just give us your initial reaction after that one. Um, I think you're right, a strange one really. Um, obviously we've ended up losing 1-0. Um, I felt the way we started the game was really, really poor. Um, and the one thing you know when you're going to play a Hendon team, it's, it, it's not really a pre-season friendly. It's going to be a, it's going to be a tough game, and they're going to come for us, and they're going to make it tough. And that's why I like this game because it is like a, a typical league game. And tried to warn them in there, but before we know where we are, we're one nil down, which is a fantastic finish. I mean, obviously 25 yards out, and he's picked the top corner. But it's because we started the game really slowly. We didn't compete for the first 10, 15 minutes. And before, as I say, before we know where we are, we're we're one nil down. I felt after that some of the pattern of play and some of the passages of play. We're very good. Um, we got in some really good areas. I think their keeper saved three or four in the first half of his feet. Um, and and we, we tried a different shape today, which was good. Um, and that's what pre-season's for. And at times I felt the shape worked. We overloaded the midfield um, and it was quite good. But again, you can't start games with football like we did. And in the second half I felt we were we were in control. And then we've got to make some changes with, with 65 minutes gone because, you know, it's not about killing people and then we made seven changes I think and, and some of the boys came on and did really well but again I felt the game after sort of 65 70 minutes just died out really and uh, they were quite comfortable in what they were doing we created one or two chances but just weren't good enough in front of goal as I said the sharpness in front of goal was not there at the moment um, and uh, as I say with the chances we created didn't finish them and we got in four or five good chances I think Joe, Joe Neal's missed one late on gone across the face of the goal Sean's not really had an opportunity today uh, and two or three we have had of, as I say, the goalkeeper's feet uh, and he saved it and uh, apart from that they've probably only had one or two chances the whole game so defensively we've not been bad but again we can't start games of football like we well, like we did today. Going to have to briefly touch on the double sending off bit of a strange one from where we were and I've had a look back at the footage can't see much wrongdoing from our man what was your view of it on the bench? It was difficult from, from where we was obviously something's happened uh, I think the three of them I think the goalkeeper's come out and they're centre half and our man's gone gone for the ball um, I actually didn't see much as the same as you really in terms I thought it was all, all over I thought the goalkeeper had obviously taken a knock um, when you get a situation like that and then you know I just turned around and there was a bit of a melee going on and, and really everyone got involved but again there was no punches thrown it was just a bit of Ted torn shirt really and pulling and pushing and uh, I think a lot of hours just run on there just to try and calm the situation down but again it's difficult pre-season as I say I'd like to have a look at the footage and see really what's gone on but again you know we don't want sending off in pre-season it's something that that we pride ourselves on at this football club and uh, it's something that we're going to have to we're going to have to see what's happening and, and make some decisions from that side of it. So, so two thirds of the way through pre-season now I just want to ask you for one key positive you think you've seen in the game so far and also something that you think still needs a little bit of work before the start of the league season. I, I certainly think we need to work a lot in, in, in the, uh, the final 18 yard box or in the final third I think some of the some of our finishing some of our end product hasn't been to the level um, it has been and certainly the way we've started a couple of games we've been starting the games very slowly and we've got to sharpen that up from where we are positives I think in terms of the midfield in terms of some of them have got in forward positions um, two or three times today I think Manash got in one again he got in two on Tuesday Ches got in one again today uh, and probably should have just uh, had a shot um, so there's lots of little positives. Um, I wouldn't say there's a massive positive at the moment because obviously we've we've, we've won one or won two, should I say, um, and, and lost two. Um, and in two of those games we haven't scored, and they're the areas we've got to improve. And we've got to score goals. We've got to make sure we score goals because that's the only way you're going to win games of football. Um, but again, we've got to go and work on that. We've done really, apart from Thursday of this week where we concentrated on a on a lot of forward play, we've got to go and work on that now over the next couple of weeks. One positive I'm going to throw in there: Devontae Stan back today after such a long time out he didn't look like a player that had been on the sidelines for nearly a year no, bags of energy massive I think we only give him 20 minutes today because he was desperate to play longer than that but again at the end of the day you know, it's massive in terms of where we are he looked like he hadn't been out as you say um, he, uh, he, he's, inf he's infu enthusiastic um, he's good at obviously trying to get other players going and it's just some of the things I, you know, I didn't see I didn't see enough of our players wanting to win a game of football today which was disappointing um, it is pre-season it's a first game on AstroTurf and I don't want to make an excuse from that side of it I think early on we struggled to, to, to cope with how the ball was how slow it was uh, a few of ours got caught in possession by treading on the ball but they're the things we've got to get used to because I think there's nine games this year on AstroTurf so, you know, we've got to take our game from grass to AstroTurf throughout the season and we've got to make sure we prepare properly 
for it, we plan properly for it, and all the players are ready for it because you know it's no excuses when we come to AstroTurf. We got accepted like the opposing team does. Yeah, they play on it all the time, they train on it all the time, so they know how it runs. But you know we've got to we've got to step up on that because today wasn't good enough. Big double header coming up this weekend, Barnet followed by Arsenal on the Monday. Probably not difficult ones to uh, motivate the guys for, but how, how are you going to get the team up for that? I think you've just summed it up yourself. That I don't have to motivate them, um, which is which is which is good. Um, but I think it gets to the stage at this level, Andrew, where it shouldn't be down to me to motivate players. Players at this level should motivate themselves. Their teammates should motivate them. Um, and the people sitting around them in them change rooms should motivate them. So if you can't get motivated for a game of football at this level, then I'm afraid you shouldn't be playing at this level. So I'll do everything I have to do. As we said before, we'll plan, we'll prepare, we'll give them all their set pieces, we'll tell them what jobs they've got to do, but they have to take that onto the football pitch, but they have to be ready for a game of football. And the one thing you have to do in football, you have to compete and you have to work hard in your position. And I felt for the first 10, 15 minutes today, we didn't do that. We didn't work hard in the opposition. We were second best all over the park and we got punished and we never recovered from it though we created five or six really good opportunities got in some really good positions hit the keeper's head legs sorry we've hit the crossbar but we didn't do enough to win the game where you know their first 15 minutes probably won on the game thank you brilliant thanks Andrew